Light leaks are a pretty cool way to add a little more flair into your project, so let's do that. All right, so we're just gonna add a couple of shots here into our timeline. Let's say this was our project and we needed a transition to go from this one shot to this shot. Or maybe let's flip these around actually. So it'll go from that shot to this shot. So we're kind of revealing the farm. Okay, so now we are <laughs> going to add in a transition. So light leaks are just shots where light is leaking in through the sides and not actually through the lens of the camera. You can find this, so you can find this footage all over online. Um, some is free and some's paid. So I have a couple here. So the primary thing to look for when you're uh, find, looking at these shots online is that the background is black because we're gonna make an alpha channel out of this and pretty much what an alpha channel is is anything that's black will be transparent and anything that has any type of luminance value or brightness is going to not be transparent. So I'm just looking through here and the middle point here, it's pretty, uh, it's filling up the frame. You don't need it, but it is you know something that we could use so i'm just going to click right here to just grab the video and then use my playhead to find that point so i would say right there's the whole screen's white i'm going to take this edge of that clip and i'm going to bring it to there that will enable enable me to do is now i can take this light leak footage and snap it here so I know that the next frame is going to be completely white so middle of these two clips I have everything completely white one of the other things that I want to do is I want to change the mode for this so I'm going to click on this shot come up here to our inspector and change the mode and we're going to go to screen and that is going to make um, a lot of the the shot transparent but it's not going to make it completely transparent there is a little bit of that shot being displayed. You can see it switch in a little bit. And I think it'll make it easier to see over here. If I was to take this shot and make everything blue, what you can see is it's making everything blue over here as well. And that's not entirely what we want. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just going to click on our first node here, right click, add matte, and we're gonna add the matte of that of that footage so anything that's black is transparent like i was saying earlier it makes a connection by default to the first node we actually don't need that so we can del delete it or just leave it it doesn't really matter but what we do need is we need to add an alpha output and then connect one of these to that alpha output so this node is just showing the luminance values of that shot so if i click on here it's just showing these luminance values. Anything that's black is going to be more transparent than what's white. And the stuff that's white, if I color that stuff, so now if I push this all the way to blue, it's not making that whole shot blue like it was before. Now, once that luminance comes through, then it's going to start to add that blue effect in there. So what I can do now is those brighter values like the bright here and the bright here, I can take the, for that clip, I can um, change the gain and the gamma and that is going to be our highlights and midtones. So I can make them, let's say, make the highlights purple and then make the midtones like a orange, something like that. And now when I play this through, I'm gonna have that light leak. But what you'll notice is right here in between these two, you can see there's a hard, because it's now um, transparent, you can see when the two clips are changing underneath. So you can come over to your edit window again, zoom in a bit and find where those two points connect. We can come over and get our cross dissolve. It's going to put a cross dissolve here, but this is way too long of a cross dissolve. So you can come into here and change the frames to I would say four frames and now that cross dissolve is if let's look at this full screen it's going to be really hard to see when those two flip even going like this it's hard to see it because it's just doing a simple cross dissolve um, so that will hide that so we don't have to be concerned with possibly being able to see it snap from one to the other so that's pretty much how you do um, that. Let's uh, do another one quick. 
All right, so we have two clips now. We're gonna do another one. Let's just take a look at some of this other stuff. Okay, so we have this light leak. Let's use this, but this light leak almost goes like this um, towards the top. I think I want it to go the other way. So we'll bring that down again. And for this one, because it's not filling up the whole screen, it's only it's filling up most of it. I'm just gonna find that point where it looks like it's it's most intense. So I would say right there. Bring it over, bring it over here, and then stretch it out. So I'm gonna click on this, and then I'm gonna come up to Inspector, and I'm just gonna flip it. So now it flipped it the other way. So now it's going like this. So on the Inspector, and while I'm already here, I'm gonna come down to Screen and change that to screen, come over to here, and do the same things that I was doing earlier, connecting these, and now I can go through here, see where that is. So it's not very intense, so I can, I can make it more intense now. So if I make it brighter, now we see over here it's becoming brighter, so that would work. And then the other thing that I could do is I can move up the saturation so that it's more saturated. And you can see it's uh, more saturated over here. And it's coming in and it's getting brighter. Look how bright it gets there. So that's working. Okay, let's come back over here and see if our brightest point, we might need to move this a little bit. So I would say that's pretty much our brightest point right there. Bring it back over, slide it over. Now let's watch this through. All right, uh, if you wanted to, you could do another cross dissolve and then just click on the cross dissolve itself and change this to uh, four frames might work, it might not. That was kind of quick. And I think that it's actually fine. I think it's fine. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna change the color of this light leak. So let's, let's make a light leak uh, maybe green and what other color teal maybe green and teal I'll just go heavy on the teal and the green so it's like that so that's what the if you click on this so when you're on a node if you click on the highlight tool it'll show you just what that node is currently seeing if it's not clicked it shows you what the output is for the project but if you have it clicked then you can see what you're doing to it so we can, you know, take this and make this pretty green and then make our mid-tones blue. And if we wanted to, we could actually bring this together and then add a nice little S-curve in here. So something like that. And now let's see how this looks. That's pretty cool. I like it. I'm a fan. And then one of the other things that I notice is you can see over here, see over here, actually that might be the, is this, oh, that's actually the drone. I thought it, I thought it was one of the light leaks. If you have a light leak that is persistent a little too long, so like let's say this light leak, it starts out way too early, like this shows up way too early. You could bring this in a bit and you don't want it to go nothing and then boom, it's on. What you could do is you could take these little handles here and what this little guy will do is it'll uh, increase its opacity. So it'll start out as zero and then as it comes in, it'll just kind of feather in the whatever that frame, that shot is. So you don't have to have it this long. I could bring it in even more and then just make sure I have this here and it'll just come in kind of softly and then exit. And yeah, that's kind of all there is to making a light leak transition. And these guys can, can be found all over the internet. They, they make them in all sorts of different looks. Um, this one here is just up in that corner. So yeah, that's about it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. If you have any suggestions on another video I should do, also let me know down there. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.